What's up, guys? It's Jonathan with the Rev Free Moto, and thanks so much for tuning back into the channel. Today is the last ride on my 2023 Harley Davidson Fat Boy 114. And before you go un unsubscribing to the channel, know that I am going to be trading this Harley Davidson on a new motorcycle. It will be a Harley Davidson, I can promise you that. Um, but before I get into any details about my new motorcycle, which will be revealed in the next video. I want to give you five reasons why I really love my Harley Fat Boy 114 and five reasons why I really don't like my Harley Fat Boy 114. And ultimately those are the reasons that have decided to make the decision to trade in the fat boy and it is with a heavy heart that i do this because i love this motorcycle so much it is such an amazing looking motorcycle it is um, a fun motorcycle to ride but let's get into the, some of those reasons that i do like the harley fat boy 114. so the definitely the number one reason that i really like the harley fat boy 114 is its signature looks. Ever since the Harley Davidson Fat Boy 114 came out in 2018, this motorcycle has been just something that I've always admired. I think that they just nailed the styling of this motorcycle. It is the chrome on it, the the tank design, the the nacelle for the headlight the steamroller stands, all these things, the the way the bars, the handlebars are laid out, just I love this motorcycle's looks. Absolutely signature looks. Paying tribute to the history of the Fat Boy going back to the 1990s. Um, and that's getting me, and that's the first reason that I really love this motorcycle. The second reason that I really love this Harley Fat Boy is its iconic history. The history of this motorcycle going back to 1990 and the the whole reason that the motorcycle was called the Fat Boy, you know, going back to atomic bombs and if you don't know the history on that, I'm not going to tell you the story, but you can find out the, the history behind the name if you look it up. It has to do with being named after the two bombs. Uh, that were dropped during World War II. So kind of a controversial history, but certainly uh, that kind of adds to the mystery and the, the lore of this motorcycle's iconic past. Uh, throughout the production of the Harley Fat Boy, it has always been one of the most iconic, most attractive, in my opinion, motorcycles that Harley Davidson produces. And I believe very strongly that is why they continue to pr produce this iconic piece of American history. The third reason that I really like my Fat Boy 114 is that it has a classic looking speedometer right there on top of the tank. And while I do not like the fact that I have to look down to see my speed and take my eyes off of the roadway, which can be dangerous. I just love the classic look of an analog speedometer. And I know that this motorcycle also has some digital features as far as the tachometer and the gear indicator underneath the speedometer. But the analog classic looking speedometer is one of my favorite features of this motorcycle. The fourth reason that I love this motorcycle is just this the dominant steamroller stance. Just sitting still, you know, laid over on the kickstand and just parked in a parking lot. It looks amazing. It looks tough and brawny and just so classic. I just love the looks of it. So the stance is just an amazing look. Um, you know, you don't even have to be it's one of those bikes where you, you just look good going slow. And uh, the last reason that I really like this motorcycle is that I have made some payments on it and I don't owe, you know, I still owe a, a lot on it, but um, it is partially paid for. And so, you know, obviously trading it in 
be um, getting another motorcycle and there'll probably be more I'll probably owe more on that motorcycle but you know it is what it is and that's part of the decision so um, those are the reasons that uh, I like this motorcycle uh, the five reasons that I do not like the Harley Fatboy 114 number one is that it looks so good the way it is and what I mean by that is that if you put a windshield on this motorcycle to try to for a longer longer rides or for when you know riding in the winter um, or you wanted to put some saddlebags on to you know take longer rides you know tour with it a little bit light touring um, if you do that it's gonna kill the looks of this motorcycle it looks so good the way it comes that if you add a windshield a 15 or a 19 inch, 19 inch windshield there's really not a lot of options for windshields for this motorcycle and I think it's the reason is that nobody puts windshields on the fat boy it I mean it's very rare because it just in my opinion it just detracts from the look of the motorcycle same with the bags I feel like if you add bags to this bike it just doesn't look good and that's just my opinion but I have not been able to bring myself to put anything on it because I just don't want it to look bad so the looks are the best without anything on it and that's one of the things I, I love and hate about it um, another thing I don't like about this motorcycle the Harley Fatboy is that when you pull up to a stoplight and you want to throw it into neutral so that for a longer light cycle you can rest your hand and, and rest the transmission um, in the clutch yeah, I cannot find neutral half the time it takes me sometimes 30 45 seconds over and over and over again attempting to find neutral and I'm shifting from first to second and first to second and over and over again and I can never find neutral sometimes I can't even find it and the light will turn and I go sometimes I'll find it I finally get it into neutral and then the light turns green as soon as I get in neutral and it's like that was a big waste of time so it's just frustrating I thought that adding some miles to this fat boy it would get easier but it has not and so that continues to be a point of frustration for me with this motorcycle is that neutral is um, extremely difficult to find on this motorcycle the third reason that I don't like the Harley Fat Boy 114 is the suspension. And I know you can change the stock suspension. I know I can add a different shock possibly. Um, but there's only so much you can do with it uh, without major modifications. And when you hit a divot in the pavement on this motorcycle or you hit a pothole or any kind of bump, it collapses your spine and it knocks the wind out of you. Um, I'm about to turn 45 as I'm recording this video and I mean I consider myself to be in fairly decent shape I, you know I work out and I, I exercise my back you know don't lift as heavy as I used to but um, you know that's just an, a normal thing but I do have over 20 years as a first responder and so my back is not the greatest um, and so I'm really trying to save it and I feel like that this motorcycle it hurts to ride um, when you hit when you're riding these back roads and you hit an ex unexpected bump it's very unnerving and it's very it can be very painful to hit these bumps um, so that's been something unpleasant as I ride this motorcycle um, that you know I, I really uh, have had a, had a hard time with um, pain um, and surprise when I hit a bump um, the next thing I don't like about this motorcycle, the, the fourth thing, is that the wide tire in the back, while I love the looks of it, the 240 rear tire in the back, it uh, is horrible around curves. And you know, I like to ride the, the, the back roads, I like to ride the roads with lots of curves, just think it's very, uh, it's fun and it's um, challenging and there's a lot of scenery on these back roads that just is part of the therapeutic part of the ride for me um, when I'm going around curves with this big fat wide rear tire it's it's almost dangerous because you set up really well and as you're going around the curve you can feel the bike kind of pushing you back 
uh, straight. It's like that wide rear tire wants to keep going straight. It's almost like a drag uh, drag tire, you know, for a drag strip. It it's good for going straight. And if you've ever ridden a fat boy, you know you know what I mean. It's not so great for going around curves. And I wish that I'd had a longer test ride with this motorcycle. Shame on me for not. But when I test rode this motorcycle, it was a quick jaunt around the block, a quick trip around the block, and I really didn't get to test it out on the curves um, and kind of make a better informed decision uh, in, re in that regard. And then lastly, the number five thing that I don't like about the Harley Fat Boy is the seat comfort. The stock seat is good for about 45 minutes of riding and then it becomes quite uncomfortable. And I think you'll see that uh, is a general consensus among all Harley Fatboy riders for the 2018 and up models. And while I have tried a, di a different seat with the Sundowner seat, uh, I really didn't like the way it was set up and so that was kind of a waste of over $240, I believe. And so now what do you do? Do you you know, continue to try different seats that are aftermarket in the pursuit of the, the perfect seat, hopefully, and play the, you know, return it game, or um, hope you find a good one at um, several hundred dollars per seat, or what do you do? So um, that's just been a point of frustration for me as well. Uh, I actually went back to the stock seat and uh, just kind of continued to ride with that because I just did not like the way that the sundowner seat from Harley felt. And so those are the five things that I don't like about the Harley Fat Boy, and those are the reasons that I've decided to trade her in, let someone else uh, enjoy her, and um, you know, this motorcycle I really feel is more, is best set for short rides and rides um, on straightaways and not necessarily these back road longer rides that I, that I enjoy going on. One day, you know, as you know, I get older and maybe have less responsibility financially for raising children, um, I don't know if that will ever happen, but one day I would like to uh, add another fat boy to my motorcycle collection. Right now it's only realistic for me to ride one motorcycle at a time to own one motorcycle at a time. I can't afford to have multiple motorcycles. And so, but one day I will maybe buy a used fat boy and look back and, and relieve these memories because I really love having the, the option to ride the fat boy, but it's just not a practical thing for me right now. And so, you know, if you're considering a Harley fat boy as your motorcycle, looking at at buying one, looking at, at uh, adding one to your collection. I hope that you'll watch this video and maybe consider these points in your decision. At the end of the day, you know, as long as what's your, what you're riding suits your riding style and makes you happy, that's all that matters. So I really appreciate your time and so th thankful uh, for you watching the video. Please like the video, that really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to Rev Free Moto. Um, I promise you'll enjoy the videos of the, the new motorcycle that I'm about to get, and I can't wait to reveal it to you. So God bless, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. But for now, we're saying farewell to the fat boy.